Here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where'd your passion for music come from? A certain album you heard or a performance you saw that made you want to pick up a guitar? Oh man, I mean, I don't know if there was anything in particular that made me want to pick up guitar, but I mean, I remember the first band that I got really super hardcore into in this genre was uh, Pillar. I mean, mm -hmm. um, that was the first band that really opened my eyes to the genre that I just got hooked on in. Then how I was... did you discover them? Did someone tell you about them? Or you <laughs> no, actually, I don't know how many people remember these. It was actually an e-card that I got. What? I was I was on I was on some <laughs> I was on some mailing like some email list or something, and I got a a, a Christmas e-card. For this tour that they were on uh -huh. and uh, I heard their song Fireproof and it just blew my mind that a band could be of you know that heavier genre but still be something that I I, I could you know dig my teeth into so cool. um, from then I got in bands like Thousand Foot Crutch, uh, Skillet um, later on I you know because then I'm like alright I like heavy music now I want to get into even heavier music so then I discovered bands like Seven Dust yeah. uh, actually because of Pillar I remember it was on one of their one of their DVDs um, they were asked, you know, what's your, if you're stranded on a desert island, what would be your, your album that you would take? And, and a couple of the guys, more than one of them said, um, uh, Seasons by Seven Dust. So oh, from wow. that, I'm like, well, if it's good enough for some of my yeah. favorite guys, then I'm, I, I must, I must give them a look. And, uh, yeah, it took me a while to, to grab on, but now, yeah. I mean, they're, they're my favorite band of all time. Um, since then, I mean, another one of my favorite bands is Alter Bridge. Uh, yeah. Mark Tremonti is, is my favorite guitarist of all time. And, you know, between... Him and Alter Bridge and um, uh, Clint Lowry and Seven Dust. I've always sort of uh, taken most of my inspiration as a songwriter and guitarist, mm. and sort of you know maybe stolen a few things here and there from them. But uh, <laughs> you know, really trying to make it my own, and uh, I just uh, I haven't been able to get enough. Well, I want to know about your musical journey. What age? Because you're self-taught guitarist. What yeah. age did you actually pick up the guitar and start playing? Uh, man, I would have been uh, about about 15 years old or so. So that would have been. Uh, yeah, about about 15 years ago, actually. Wow. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, it was it was one of those things where I grew up never really knowing what I wanted to be. I mean, for a while I wanted to be a, get into like acting. For a while I wanted to be a cartoonist. Um, uh, I was a skateboarder for about a week. That was fun. <laughs> uh, and a friend of mine was just like, "Hey, I I I know that your your dad's acoustic guitar up in the." up in the attic up there, you know, maybe I'll restring it and you can start playing guitar and like, all right, yeah, sure, that'll that'll go over just as easily <laughs> as, as everything else I've wanted to be in my life did. And uh, picked it up and uh, it's been... It lasts been longer than a week. <laughs> much longer than a week. Yeah, it's a couple, uh, probably about a thousand or more weeks. Well, that's inspiring. So uh, tell me how you found about Dirty Machines, because I used to go and find your other bands and projects you're a part of and, you know, and... I would say a lot of the, your other musicians with you were just up to your level, that musical talent that you were. So, yeah. and, and then finally you joined Dirty Machine. I'm like, wow, you guys have an amazing drummer with you finally. And yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and, and not to not to uh, discredit everyone who I've worked with before. That's yeah. that's more to to credit the guys of, of this band now. That okay. just uh, something that I've always wanted is to feel like I'm in my favorite band. Yeah. And that's something I can actually honestly say with this band. Uh, our drummer, Nightmare, is one of my favorite drummers ever. He just yeah. kills it every time. <laughs> uh, Dave is just such a, um, a charismatic front man. But uh, I mean, the way I found the guys, um, I had been friends uh, for, for a very, very long time, many, many years, uh, by a guy uh, named Mark Baker. He's the, the bassist of a uh, uh, band by the name of Kill Set. Um, but we have been we had been friends uh, since long before that. So and he's always been like a bigger brother, always you know looking out for me to find uh, any sort of project that I can get into. And uh, so uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I think it would have actually been Killset had done some shows with Dirty Machine, and um, yeah, he had talked to Dave, our front man, and um, Dave had always been looking for. Um, uh, to add a second vocalist to the group who was more like that melodic, um, uh, I mean, that was probably the best word to put it, just, you know, more yeah, melodic. Well, it's, I think it's great because both few vocals are kind of opposite, but they work so well together, and I think that's why, yeah. Dirty, why Dirty Machine fans love you guys so much, you know? And it's, it's been incredible for me as, a, as such a songwriting-based musician, mm -hmm. where it's really the songwriting that I get most excited about. It's like, I, I can sing, I do sing, 
but I've always been more excited about just writing good songs. And so to then have a guy like Dave that I, I get to work along with, um, it's almost like having an extra tool in the toy box. Yeah. And uh, now I get to write these, or start working on these songs that I think, you know, all right, we can, we can have Dave have this part and trade off between me and him. And I mean, it, we've just worked so well together that uh, I mean, he'll even write some of my vocal parts, and I'll write his vocal parts, Ooh, and we'll cool. we actually write for each other sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, it's just been an absolute, just un unbelievable experience, uh, just as a musician working working mm -hmm. with these guys, and every everything you throw out, throw out, excuse me, throw out at them, they just pick it up like that, and uh, it's been a um, a real awesome connection. Well, tell me about the latest recording, your new single yeah. with this legendary producer. How's it been yeah. like working with him? You know? I mean, it's been incredible. Yeah. It's it's um, just to work with such a, a brilliant mind like Ulrich Wild. He's produced some of my favorite albums. Yeah. Uh, uh, Saturate by Breaking Benjamin is one of my favorite albums of all time. Science by Incubus, yeah. uh, a couple of Deftone records. Uh, and But then you, you sit down with him, and he's, he's just a a good down-to-earth dude, you know? So to be able to sit down with somebody like that and really, uh, you know, get into the nitty-gritty of even the songwriting and, and adjusting stuff that you go in that you're pretty settled on and then he has another take on it and it's actually better, <laughs> you know, and improve it that way. And I well, mean, he's kind of a good producer, otherwise why are you paying him? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and even more so than that, just his ability to get the best performance yeah. out of, out of, who he, whoever he's got in uh, in the hot seat at the time, mm -hmm. um, and just to be able to have the ear for the the um, just that um, indescribable uh, what's, what's the word I'm trying to use the word sonic the the uh, sonic soundscape yeah. you know whatever uh, he really knows what he's doing and his all you got to do is just look up his accolades and all the exactly. all the gold records that he's got on all the walls to know that you're you're working with somebody who who has been there and knows what he's doing and, and can really bring out the best in a band. Nice. Well, one of my favorite things about seeing you guys live is because, like, you're, you're a very mellow guy, but on stage, yeah. man, you're, like, so into it. Yeah. And you do these cool, like, kind of homage to like, another one of our passions, wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and, and part of that is I, I did for a while have that background in theater, yeah. so I like, and something that I've always liked in, in musicians on stage is the theatrics. Yeah. Um, actually, one of my... Um, main influences just as a um, as a performer is the front man of uh, Sick Puppies oh, and you yeah. watch him and he's got the the, the eyes that kind of just like go like this and you, you watch him and you're not sure if he's got it all <laughs> yeah, you know, all together that. up there and same thing he's just a chill guy backstage but then he gets up on stage you just can't take your eyes off him you can't stop watching that guy so uh, that's something that I've always uh, really dug and wanted to you know bring a little bit of that to, to my stage presence so um, but uh, normally before a show you'll you'll see me trying to uh, just uh, pr you know, re uh, reserve my energy so that I can really bring everything that I have once I get on stage nice and then you get up there and you get like hawk up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah a little bit a little bit I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take whatever cool gestures I see on on wrestling and then maybe uh, nice. Do a little, do a little step rolling. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, I've asked everyone for their personal social media, but you're probably the only member of Dirty Machines that doesn't really on the social media that much. No, I am still in the Stone Age. Yeah. <laughs> so if, you did tweet uh, on your birthday in the studio, which I thought was cool. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a tweet. That was. Oh, we're that was that was my first Facebook post in about five years. <laughs> All right, well, you can go follow Dirty Machines, and uh, hope you guys, we hope you have some more newer shows coming up the rest of the year. Oh, yeah, we're going to, we're, we're Road Warriors, we're Road Warriors, we're going to keep booking shows and, and getting our name out there and uh, really uh, uh, getting down to the grind. All right, thanks, Darren, so much. All right. All right. Thank you.